Hello everyone, this is Barbara from TSK Boutique, Keeping It 100, and coming to you today to talk to you about your personal credit. If you have not seen my first video and second video, please subscribe and go check them out. Um, I'm talking to them, to you, I'm sorry, about Dun & Bradstreet Business Credit and a little bit about how to start your business, the steps you need to do. So today I'm talking to you about personal credit. It's very important to keep up with your personal credit also. You want to keep that in good standards because sometimes people will go back and want to look at your personal credit in order to approve you for some things you would like to get with your business credit. So it's very important to do that. Um, you could go on annual credit repair once a year and get a free copy of your credit report. And go on there and check on there and see what's making your credit score stay low and correct it. Um, and you get that free. It won't show you your score unless you pay for it, but it will give you all three credit rule. Not like, um, Credit Karma only gives you two. You want all three. You want to compare what's on there. First thing I advise everyone, I'm not a credit repair or anything like that. I'm not a professional or nothing like that. I'm just letting you know what I done to help prove my credit and what I'm helping my family do to improve their credit. So take that, do what you want to do with it but i hope that you listen to me and listen to other people that know what they're doing that's professional but um you could do it on your own you don't have to pay all the money so the first thing you want to do is go to annual credit report get a copy of your credit report um look at it make sure your name is spelled right Sometimes they had your name spelled wrong. Make sure it's on there one time, not three different or four different times. You could get that disputed. Make sure your address is correct, spelled correct. Make sure your phone number is on there spelled, I mean, um, is on there correctly. And if you have any addresses or names on there that's spelled wrong, AKA or whatever, you could have all that disputed. So the first thing I ask you to do, you should do is correct your name and any other addresses get them deleted if you're not staying at them addresses anymore because sometimes they look at how long you didn't move do you move a lot so if that one address on there it's not going to let them know if you moved two years ago if you moved three years ago or anything like that it'll show that address like you you're stay you stayed there and you've been there for a long period of time so get them disputed if any um addresses even jobs you want to show a history of a job that you've been at for a very long time. If you got two on there, maybe that's okay. But if you got some on there, a whole lot of different jobs, that means you don't maintain, not saying maintain, but you don't stay um, at a job at a long time. So that kind of look not good on your credit report. So make sure you have a job on there that you've been in there for a long period of time. Um, so I had a couple of things disputed off of mines and got that that's the first thing i did when i fixed start working on my credit i'm still working on it but that helped also and when you are working on your credit please do not apply for anything because you're working on your credit you don't need no inquiries popping up on your credit report so do not apply for anything that's very important the second thing after you um did disputes on your name and everything then the next thing look at all three get a folder Put them out in front of you and do check marks. If they, um, for example, if you got Sears on two of them and not on the third one, make sure the two that has, they have the same amount that they say you owe. If it's a penny off, you could dispute it and have it deleted. If it's a penny off, if the uh, account number is not all the way on there, you could have it disputed. So make sure that that Sears account this is just an example. If you got a Sears account on both or all three, make sure it's reporting the same thing, the amount that you owe, the date that you started, that you uh, was approved for this Sears account. Check everything. Everything needs to match on all three. If they're not, please dispute it and you can have it deleted. Um, next in collections that's on there. Look on there and make the same thing. Make If they're on there for... Two, make sure everything is correct on there. And remember, you do not have to pay collection agents. It's a way to get around it. Trust me, because they never own your, um, 
who they say you owe. You never owe the credit. For example, you owe Sears. Sears then wrote that off. They didn't get their money back. Then a collection went out and paid for a bundle of um, dead debts. And then now they say you owe them, but you don't owe them. You never had credit with them. You never signed anything to them that you owe them. So therefore, you can have that disputed too. It's more steps to that. I could get in debt with that in depth with that if you want me to comment below and I can help you out with that also like I said I'm not a credit expert or anything like that I learned all this on my own and I'm just sharing what I know and I see for myself help improve my credit so to take that if you want to follow me or comment or need me to help you with something if I can I will if I can't we'll research it and we'll get it done if you want to go pay someone, that's fine too. But you could do it on your own and save the money and do something else with it, like for your business. Um, next thing, so we talked about your name, address, and phone number. We talked about that. Then we talked about um, making sure all three credit bureaus if they have something on there, for example, Sears, like I said, make sure all the information on all three reports are the same. If they not, you could dispute it. Even if you want to dispute it, you still could dispute it if it went to a collection agent. Because you know, after six months, something like that, they write you off. Sears no longer have no part of you anymore. They sell your debt to a collection agent and they take over your debt. You do not have to pay them if you do your homework and do it right. But it is steps you have to go through to do it. And I can help you out with that. I'm not going to keep you long. Them are the first two steps I advise you to do with your credit report. Go to annual credit report. Get your report. Compare all three um, credit brewers. Make sure they're reporting the same. The same thing is on all three. Put your check marks. Get a piece of paper. Write down the ones that reporting different amounts because everything should be the same. The dates should be the same when you started um, that credit card or whatever it is. It should be the same. You could dispute it if it's not and get it deleted. If it's something on there longer than seven years, you could get that deleted. So comment, like, and subscribe below. And if you need me to help you with anything else, um, please subscribe to my channel. And I will be back next Sunday with another video more on fixing your credit i just want to do this step by step not give you so much information at one time these are the first three things i think you should do that's important so go to annual credit um annual credit report get your three credit brewer um reports look and make sure your name is on there correctly if it's on there two or three times you want to dispute that it is a dispute button on there that you can hit to dispute it to get them names taken off you don't only want one name you only want one address. You only want that phone number, your correct phone number. You want everything to be spelled right. Then you want to check to see that all credit brewers are reporting the same thing on whatever you have on there that they're saying you didn't pay or you did pay. You want to look and make sure the amount is the same. That's all I want you to do. So them the first steps I need you to do in working on your personal credit. And if you want to know more, Comment below and I will get back with you and help you out if I can. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm not a credit repair agency or anything else. I'm just keeping it 100 how I did what I did to help my personal credit. Until next time, love all and hate no one. And have a blessed day. And keeping it 100 with Barbara.